So what is going on everyone, it is Kieran the Barber and we are back with another transformation video. Everybody's having these transformations, we're coming out of COVID, we're finally cutting some hair again. So today we have a messy textured top with a mid skin fade. It is a beautiful cut. So we start by taking that bulk out. We want to get rid of that skin, we want to take it right down using them foils just bringing that up and round down the back making sure when we're putting our line across we're coming down to the occipital bone ever so slightly as it's a mid fade i've just gone just on like in the middle of the occipital bone and then with my foils what i'm doing is i'm just taking it just half an inch below where i put my original line in that gives me enough space to then blend in this haircut with my even my trimmers or i'm going to flick up with my foils Make sure when you're using your foils, you're going in all different directions, up, down, left, right, round in circles. So with my one and a half, after I took off the remainder of the bulk, I'm just flicking in that C motion with my Ergo um, Gamma Ergos. And you can see I'm just bringing that line up ever so slightly to then put in my fade line so we can start fading that skin line in. So what you'll notice is I'll do a number one open, then I'll go with a number one closed, then I'll go with a half guard open and then a half guard closed. And just to start removing that line, creating less of a shadow. So then with my zero, as you can see, I'm just using that line and we're slowly, slowly getting rid of it. And then flicking up, always got the fade brush, always got that fade brush ready to take away that hair. If you don't have a fade brush, I would definitely, definitely invest in one. They're really, really good to have just to get rid of that excess hair, just to make sure that you're not taking any hair away at all, what you don't need to be taken away pretty much. And then flicking up, coming up at a 90 degree angle and just slowly going a bit higher every time, just starting to remove that rest of that hair. Remember the guideline we first put in was just a straight guideline just to make sure that we had got rid of that bulk just so we could have a clear sort of way to fade in and then coming in afterwards, take the rest of that out at a 90 degree angle to then start blending the rest of the haircut in. A little bit of point cutting into the fade also makes it so, so much smoother. So it's one of them new things that I'm trying out at the minute and with my fades, it has made the fade look and feel a lot smoother. And then just to soften these edges of uh, Matt's haircut, coming in with the thinners, just to take out that rest of that, um, like kind of heaviness and darkness. And then never ever feel like you don't have to go back to um, putting on a guard and just going over your haircut. So this is what we're doing here. We're just going back over it, just making sure that fade is just nice and smooth. And then we pretty much repeat exactly the same steps on the other side. And then we're going to just start cutting in that top. So don't forget guys, if you are new to my channel, I know I say this in the middle of my videos, but if you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give me a like, 
man if you comment it helps the algorithms out it pushes my videos up it makes people, more people watch them so just give me a little comment just say hello how you doing where you from what clippers you're using at the minute let's have a chat so give me a give me a message in the comments like my video please give me a subscribe we're trying to hit like which i'm trying by the end of the year to get um 110,000 subs so that's what we're pushing to at the minute we've got 103 so within six months i want 7,000 subs that's what we're pushing to i'm trying to get content out here at the minute so guys it would really 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 appreciate it if you could just give me a little like give me a little subscribe um it, it goes a long way longer than you would ever imagine so while um i'm repeating these same steps on the same side i'm just going to talk um clippers at the minute because i've got way way too many clippers i've just literally i was sitting here editing this video and the postman arrived and i got my new ergo x's so in future videos i'm going to be using my ergo x's plus um during lockdown i've started my own product range so we were setting up products setting up the fragrances the texture the kind of what i wanted as a product range as such which is really really cool i've wanted to do it for a long long time um and so exclusively i can say that it's going to be online um for you guys to buy um i'm going to be shipping it pretty much i'm going to be working out where i can ship it so hopefully i can do some international shipping get you guys some products internationally wherever you are we're going to try and ship out as many products as we can um i've just got to work out international shipping prices etc etc so yeah, um, they will be on the raw image uh, barbershop.co.uk website, I believe, when we are ready. More information will become available as soon as we've got everything sorted. But yeah, the, our own product range is going to be brilliant. We've got a, it's called raw matte, so it's a matte paste, really, really dry. Um, that's what our clients are looking for. We have a the raw dust which is a hair powder which i'm really really excited for because we've worked really hard to get the hair powder ready we've got a hairspray which that was probably the most impossible thing to get a hold of is creating your own hairspray i know um a rod ripped off his own hairspray so it's you know how hard it is if there's people like a rod doing it and he's um you can rip off the label and it's a different can we're not going that way we're actually using our own hairspray um so yeah that's that's a really cool step um what else we got we got map uh we got the raw paste and we've got the raw um texture which is a sea salt spray so we've got a hot we've got about four or five products in the range and i'm really really excited i'm really looking forward to you guys seeing it us using them on there and now we are into cutting the top so spraying this top down saturate in the hair a little bit and then putting it into place because it's pointless cutting it when it's dry especially when it's this long and you're not putting it into a style or into a place so the best thing to do is just to wet the hair down put it into a position before you start cutting i know it might take a little bit longer but you're going to get such a more precise cut especially if you're club cutting first or straight cutting and then afterwards you're chipping in you're going to get such a better outcome and a better look if you just wet that down first and put it into a position where you're comfortable with so as you can see i come from right to left and then i'm going to start cup cutting i have got my philip george scissors um just recently actually and they're really really nice i'm going to leave a link in the description below um they're rose gold i've never owned anything rose gold in my life but they're really really nice so yeah as you can see i'm pulling the hair up you can see where my guideline is every time i pull up you can see where my guideline is so i know exactly where i'm cutting exactly what i'm doing and then each time i come back i go half an inch or and half an inch half a centimeter just past the guideline so what with matt's haircut it's a textured look it's a textured fringe i want the fringe to be his feature point i want the fringe to be the main part of this haircut so when it comes to the back i want to cut that a little bit shorter but i don't want to blend these sides in as well i want to leave them sides heavy like overhanging because when we style it we're going to be pushing these sides forwards into that fringe so the sides are also a really really big detail in this haircut i know a lot of people would separate the sides put them into like curtain position and then cut them off so they're blended in we actually don't want to do that with this haircut we want to leave this haircut disconnected and then we're gonna when we dry it you'll see what i mean when i push these sides up and control the sides it gives it a really tech 
textured look and it makes it look really really nice So then to finish off the haircut as always we are going to just go around the edges with the clippers trimmers sorry and yeah just make that look nice and sharp before we start blow drying the haircut. So a little bit of got to be sea salt hairspray again I've used this in previous videos it's a very good hairspray it's just a basic supermarket hairspray while we're waiting for our new products to arrive with Matt's hair when blow drying I want to blow dry this forwards so from back to about middle of his haircut I want to blow dry this forwards the reason being is I'm gonna push back on it so I want the haircut to stand up but I don't want it to stand up too straight. If I was to blow dry up straight, it would it would just look straight. If I blow dry forwards and then put my texture into it afterwards, it's going to have a slight curvature in it, which that's what makes it, gives it its texture, makes it oomph, makes it bounce. So as you can see, everything from the back, blow drying forwards, and then from the fringe, I'm going to be blow drying up, and it will all just blend in together, and it will look really, really nice. So as you can see, I'm just using my roll brush and just grabbing that fringe, curving that round, not blow drying it up straight. I'm grabbing it and spinning it and curving it because what I don't want it to do, I don't want it to look pinpoint straight. I want it to have, Matt's hair is very, very straight naturally. So we want to try and give it as much texture, as much um, messiness as we can. And so that's why when we're blow drying it, we're blow drying it in all different angles, giving it all messy. Like you can see, I'm just crunching it up. I'm not doing it so it's perfect. I don't want this haircut to look perfect. I want this haircut to look as messy as possible. I don't know why I've got so much talc on me either. My tits look talked. I apologize. <laughs> I got talky titties. I don't know why I've got talky titties. I just have. It's a thing. It's, it's been a busy week. And I'm sitting here editing just for you guys because the love is unreal. Again, just making that sure them edges are sharp. I must have, in this part here, I must have seen something that I was like, okay. Just there's just a little bit there I just want to take off and then just go around these edge bits. Just making them look nice and sharp. Then we're going to stick, so with Matt's hair, I want to, I want to mix my powder with my paste. So I'm going to stick on a little bit of powder first shake that on there and then what I do is I go and grab some little tiny bit of hair paste um, just to flick his hair into place a little bit just so what the hair paste does is on the end of the fingers it um, it makes me put his hair certain bits into points I'll show, I'll show you what I mean in a minute so rubbing this in 
and then I'll get my fingers and I'll just pinpoint certain places, certain areas that I want to look, go into points. You can see I'm just doing that now, so just, and that's what I mean by the bits coming forward where they should, it should overhang, and if you blend that bit in, it won't, it won't look as good as what it does there. This is what we're here to do. We're here to create styles. We're here to create something different. And sometimes out of the box thinking is the best way to think. And yeah, that's that's how we've been doing it for years. I, lo I love cutting hair. So I love when I get something like this in where you can play and you can you can fiddle. It's not the, just the two back and sides. It's, it's, a, it's a good textured hairstyle. What do you think the 2021 style is going to be this year? I don't, I don't, I still don't know. I haven't cut hair long enough. I've been cutting hair three days now. So I still don't know what the 2020, 2021 haircut is going to be yet. But all I know is that you guys have got to subscribe to my channel. We have finished. We are out. Take care. Peace. And I'll see you soon.